Manchester United took the journey down south to take on Reading in the Women's Super League. A week on after that 6-0 victory over Liverpool, and Matt Skinner keeps his faith in his players and names an unchanged team. The first clear-cut chance of the game fell to United and to Hayley Ladd. Some smart play down the right-hand side was touched on by Ella Toon, but the strike was straight at the keeper. Reddin then hit back with a chance of their own and after a clever flick into the feet of Emma Harries, but her shot wasn't enough to trouble Mary Earps. Just a few minutes later and Mary Earps was in a touch of trouble. Rachel Rowe with an audacious effort from miles out almost caught Earps off of her line. As we had towards 20 minutes, Reading were beginning to get a grasp of the game. After possession in the United final third, Harry's found the ball and forced a brilliant save from Mary Earps. United then went up the other end and almost broke the deadlock themselves. Nikita Paris found the head of Garcia, but the goalkeeper managed to do just enough. This time it was United's time to attack. Some quick passing down the right-hand side led to Paris being in on goal, but couldn't hit the target. Reading unable to clear the ball, Luthia Garcia was this time in on goal, forcing a save from the Reading goalkeeper. Seconds later and Garcia was in once again, but Jacqueline Burns was equal to it. In a game of many chances, it was seemingly only a matter of time before the deadlock was broken. Russo showing her pace before being brought down in the penalty area and the referee pointed to the spot. Upstep skipper Katie Zellum going to the bottom left, but the keeper got down well to keep the scores level to the delight of her Reading teammates. As we edge towards half-time, United will be wondering how they don't have the lead. Outnumbering the Reading defence, the ball was played into Paris, but the defender got back well to intercept. Seconds later, and it was Paris again, this time taking on the volley and clattering the top of the crossbar as the two teams headed into the half-time break level. The first real chance of the second half came in the 52nd minute. A brilliant ball from Paris found Garcia, who first time directed the ball across goal, but it was just out of the reach of Russo. As the clock ticked past the hour mark, United had their best chance of the game. A ball into the box was cleverly left by Russo, knowing Toon was behind her, but the shot didn't have enough power to cause any danger. United needing to strike whilst the iron was hot, continued to pile players into the box and this shot from Russo, whilst on target, was well saved by the keeper. Ten minutes later and against the run of play, Reddin had a chance to get the ball into the box which proved dangerous for United but Earps got across well to push it out for a corner. Manchester United continue to push in the final stages of the game. Garcia with a solo striving run away from the Reading defenders, but her strike was wide of the post. And then finally, in the 88th minute, Rachel Williams on the pitch for just a couple of minutes, kept a calm head, passing the defenders and then smashing the ball into the top corner to break the deadlock and give United the lead and all three points. Full-time, Reading nil, Manchester United won. I mean, I'm, I, I'm literally, I'm not on a come down yet. That is a, an amazing win. Um, not as pretty as we'd have liked at Reading. I want to, in my opinion, always are one of the hardest teams to play. They're nowhere. Their, their league position doesn't reflect the qualities of the coaches and, and the team. So, for us, it was a, it was a game we had to overcome. But we found a way, and I find that like when Rachel takes that opportunity, that's the whole reason we brought Rachel to this team. For any doubters, there's a whole reason that she can step up in that moment and make that moment for us. And for us, it's a magnificent way to say, look at how concentrated we can be right till the very end, and we're never going to give up. So that is more important for me than any of the six nils. The, that is a resilience win today. Rachel, first of all, the smile on your face says it all. An 88th minute winner. And the way you took it as well, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, well, I've, a few people have asked me this and I don't, in the moment, I've just got on 
there's a million questions, there's a million answers, and it's do your job and do this, and players are shouting you. And I just remembered that I, so I think someone sent it long, and I got on the end of it, and I thought comp- all I could thought in my head was composure, but lift it because their keeper was brilliant today, and I and I did, and it went in, and I'm just so happy I got the goal.